Hey everybody, it is Rav1 and I am here with the hiccuping wonder. Little Lizzie. So you might hear her hiccuping, she's got the hiccups right now. Um, so we're doing a seven bucks a pop, seven bucks a pop <laughs> video for you. Um, and we got this giant box from seven bucks a pop and I found out why. There's actually two separate orders in this one box. There's an order that I ordered for our own personal collection and a Christmas present mm -hmm. for DJTL. Is there no. Um, and there's a mystery box from Black Friday in here. So I'm going to try to get the box that we ordered personal collection, do that super quick, and then we're going to go into the mystery box. Uh, the mystery boxes, um, you could buy up to four of them. They were $19 a piece. There is no guaranteed value. There was some really mega hits you could get. Most people are going to get just common pops. So you're not going to get the full $19 back on these pops. And they may not even be in mint condition. There could be some ones that are like, you know, seven and a halfs or eights in there. Um, but you will get a coupon in every single pop that's good for $7 off a future order. So we do these every time we do, they do a mystery box because we use those towards a future order. So instead of paying $19 a pop, it's almost like you're only paying $12 a pop because you use that $7 for something else, which is awesome. Um, and there's a chance we could get an Easter egg in the pops. And if you do get that, you're going to get a really cool prize. So they did say they still have Easter eggs left over from Easter and they're throwing them in these as well. And someone could get an Easter egg. Easter egg. Yeah, sort of. So, and there's the hiccups. It's a Christmas So, I'm not sure how they ship this, so I'm hoping there's just two boxes inside this big box. That would make it super easy and convenient. Yeah. But if they're all just separate in here, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, so, nope, this is good. So, oh. this is actually easy. I think you just knocked down an order. I did knock down an order. So, this is simple. So, I actually see the ones that are the ones that we got for, there's a Christmas present. The Christmas present one I'm not going to show just in case the DJTL actually watches this video. I don't want her to see it. Okay, so these are the ones for our personal collection. We'll go through them quick and we'll tell you where we got them. So the first one, oh, and also all these are in pop protectors because when you buy directly from seven bucks a pop for an extra dollar, you can throw a pop protector on the box. I highly recommend doing that. They have the best pop protectors on the market. They do the 0.45 millimeters, superb quality pop protectors. Um, and for a dollar, you can get it thrown on there so they get shipped to you in a pop protector. So that way if your box gets jangled or pushed or squished, your pops are still protected, which is really nice. Um, and you can buy boxes of pop protectors as well. So we'll go right through the website. Link's down below and you can actually check that out for yourself. So, enough of my rambling. First pop that we got for personal collection is Boris Badenov from Rocky and Bullwinkle. And this actually completes my Rocky and Bullwinkle collection. So I finally have all five of the Rocky and Bullwinkle pops, which is awesome. So because we have the other five up there. You see them, right? Yeah. Rocky, Bullwinkle, Natasha, and Fearless Leader. And we got Boris. So I picked them up. This was actually on a sale day as well. I think that was this was the, the day that... I don't know, let's put the list. Um, all the pops were $2 off. So I was like, all right, for 2 bucks off, I'm going to do it. Instead of being 7 bucks a pop, they were 5 bucks a pop for a day. So Boris. No Easter eggs. Not with these. These are the ones we have for the personal collection. So that wasn't the Black Friday special. Okay. Second one, Bob Ross. And this is Bob Ross with paintbrush. If you remember um, some of the seasons of, of The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross, uh, his little cartoon character would come out and they would actually paint the actual uh, picture that he was painting on the actual intro, which is pretty neat. So this is actually helping me get more of my Bob Ross pop collection complete. I think I have almost all of them now. The last one is The Child. Now this was, no, we will not. This was the first child pop that they came out with from The Mandalorian. Um, and I actually don't have this one. I have The Child three other ways right now. I don't have this one. So I saw that on there and I was like, hey, this is the regular normal one. I don't have it. I want it because the child is awesome. So, and the Mandalorian is awesome as well. If you haven't watched the Mandalorian, watch it. It's one of the best shows on TV. So, ooh, you know what? We have a new Mandalorian that just came out today. All right. So here's our mystery ones. And they're cool because they're going to have question marks on them. So far, those two are light. They all feel light. They just all feel really light, so I, mean, I don't think there's anything that weighs more than another one in here. Maybe this one? I don't know. Yeah, they're all sort of light, so 
we'll just open each one of them up. We'll pull them out and we'll show you we got seven, seven bucks a pop. Has really good packaging on their pops they send you. Um, this will be in this like outside sorter box and then there will be bubble wrap on the inside as well. It'll be really right if it's that I did that on the last video. Ooh, something just fell out. I think it was an Easter egg. Nope, it was gum. Oh, yeah. It was double bubble gum. So you like the double bubble. Usually there's two pieces though. Oh, yep. I see the other piece here. Is there, an Ooh, oh, there, was no, there was no Easter egg. All I right. Want Easter egg. Well, we probably won't get one. All right. So, oh, this is an pop protector. Okay. And I already saw it. So actually, this is actually, this actually might be a good hit, guys. This is a glow in the dark Funko 2020 Spring Convention Limited Edition Dragon Ball Z Perfect Cell. So that actually might be a decent hit, actually. Um, we'll have to check, but I mean, that's in a pop protector. So that's, I mean, I'm not sure if they send them all in pop protectors, but I mean, I know they were saying that for this, there's be mainly commons. This is definitely not a common pop. So hopefully that's got some good value to it. That's exciting. And then I'm not gonna show you the actual coupon, but this is the coupon that they give you. It's got a code on the front. I can actually just do this and show you. Oop, do that and show you because I don't want you guys to steal my coupon. <laughs> not that you would, but you know. That's the coupon to get. So I'm gonna get four of those. You can't use them all in the same transaction, but four different transactions, you get $7 off your order, which is pretty awesome. So, all right, pop number two. Now we, we will really know if that was a good hit if this one's not in a pop protector, but if they're all in pop protectors and maybe not, what? So I got a and a watermelon. Not regular and now. Okay. I know it looks like I'm looking at the pop, but I'm actually not. No, no it's wrapped, so I can't really tell. Grabbing my coupon. All right, so this isn't a pop protector as well, so maybe that first one's not a great hit. I don't know. This is Power Rangers Rita Repulsa. Oh, yeah, Rita Repulsa. And it actually says, you've got the power 25 years. It's got like a special Power Rangers sticker on it. I can already just tell looking at this pop, it looks like there's a little bit of bowing on the front. Um, it's an older pop though, from 2018. I didn't check this one. This is Vegeta one's from 2019. Or I'm sorry, Perfect Cell. So I mean, first two pops don't look terrible. So, hmm. Interesting. This one's got a lot of like, a lot of bowing on here on the box itself. I wonder why. I wonder if it's just the gum sitting weird in here or yeah. what's going on. We Maybe we did. Who knows? Nope, just gum. Ooh, More gum for you. All right, yeah. let me pull out the coupon. Like also, too, the other thing that they've, they've packed in every single pop with these mystery ones is the... Um, the card that shows about their pop shield protectors and their epic pop drops. Pretty cool. Sunday, All right. Wednesday, and Monday, right? Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh. All right. Oh, oh, this is from <gasps> Disney Hercules. Oh, that's a baby Pegasus. That's cool. That one. That's just part of the regular collection, so it doesn't look like it's any kind of special pop, but it's pretty cool. Baby Pegasus, and it's from... 2018. Well, I'm not sure if that's vaulted or not now, but not a bad oh, third I hit. That. Did you ever watch Hercules? Yeah, I've seen Hercules. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Yeah. There was baby Hercules and baby Pegasus. 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 All right. Last one. Yeah, double bubble. Oh. bubble bubble just fell on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> the last one I can already see from the side, it's not a good hit. Oh, I can no. tell you already. Is it Clay or Clay? I think we actually already own it. Oh, well, I hope it's not Clay. Oh. It's a Fortnite pop. It is DJ Yonder. We don't, we don't have it. It's got a sticker on there. It's just got the Fortnite sticker. We don't DJ Yonder. No, we have a lot of Fortnite pops. I mean, we don't. Well, we'll see if we keep them or not. We used to be playing Fortnite a lot, but we actually stopped playing. We haven't played in a while. Didn't you say that, so. that there's like a new like season? Yeah, there's a new season now. Right, you got all your bubble up there? Yeah. All right, guys. So what's going to happen is 
the screen's going to blur quickly for you guys, but for us, we have to go and look all these values up. So we'll be back and we'll let you know what these are worth and we'll see if this was a good hit or not good hits. So I'm hoping we got some good hits though. So we'll be back a couple seconds for you guys. Hey guys, we're back, and uh, we're going to go over the values in just one second. A little bit he's holding up the first one here. So, just remember, we paid nineteen dollars a piece for these boxes, so that's seventy-eight dollars we paid. We did get twenty-eight dollars of coupons, so we're going to be able to use those in the future. So, this was not great. So, there's some boxes you're going to open, you're going to get some mega hits, and there's going to be other boxes you're going to open, you're just going to get meh, and we got meh. <laughs> so, yeah, meh. that's sort of what this is. So, DJ Yonder is worth a whole whopping. Seven dollars. Wow. Yeah. All yeah, right. Next terrible. one. Baby Pegasus is worth fourteen dollars. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is the one that was that's crazy to me. This Rita Repulsa was worth a whole grand total of five dollars. Oh. Five dollar pop. Yeah. Wow. And then the perfect cell, which I actually thought would be worth something, is it had like you know. The con sticker, glows in the dark, limited edition, all that kind of cool stuff is worth a whole whopping fifteen dollars. So, all in all, these are worth forty-one dollars combined. We paid seventy-eight, wow. so we we literally lost thirty-eight dollars, thirty-seven dollars on this. Wait, thirty-seven or twenty-seven? Thirty-seven, right? Yeah, thirty-seven. But we got the twenty-eight dollars in coupons. So there, we really only lost like nine dollars if you look at it that way. Because we're going to use these coupons; it's going to get us money off a of future purchase from from seven bucks a pop. We buy from them a lot, so realistically, we only really lost nine dollars on this. But we still have to try to figure if we can even sell these. So um, yeah. yeah, it could be a difficult sells on some of these, especially with like a, a five dollar common pop. Unless the eBay market's better than what they're showing on PPG right now, which sometimes is, sometimes isn't. So. You know, but hey, that happens. And you know what? Uh, seven bucks a pop runs these specials again. I'm going to keep getting them because I like doing mystery boxes. I think they're a lot of fun. And you never know. You might get that that big score. And if you don't buy them, you're never going to get it. Right? Also, you could get stuff you like and then you keep it. Exactly. Exactly. Add to your collection. So, like double, like double bubble. That's not part of your collection. You just like eating the double bubble. <laughs> so, there's much cheaper ways for us to go about you getting double bubble. <laughs> oh. Right. All right, guys. So we appreciate you checking the video out. As always, hope you had fun watching this opening like we did opening it. And as always, do the thing. Like, mm -hmm. subscribe, mm -hmm. and ring the bell. And ring that bell. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. And stay, stay safe. safe. Bye. Bye.